keeping an update here. Nothing's changed. You guys don't know that because it's the magic of video. But this is what we got. We got to do the bulkhead. I call this the bulkhead. Let's flip you. There you go. So we're talking that section, okay? What I got to do is take the tarp off. See how they did their bulkhead? So their bulkhead wall is more of a just a chamfer. Here I am up atop the uh, bunk here. And this is the existing, what's left of. So this is the front window where it was. This is the actual bunk, top of the camper. And this is a curve down here like that. And you can see where that wall is. So the way that this one was made, I don't think it's original, but it's just what it is here. What I'm thinking is to have it follow the contour. All right, here we are walking down to the pond here. And uh, let's see what we got. In between the snakes and the frogs, what do we got here? Oh, look at this. Oh, frog, even got some frog eggs on there. Jeez. All right, this is a little test piece here. We're gonna see, soaking this. For one, if it holds up, might have to add frog eggs to the next one just for the uh, same, same recipe. I don't know, the old bending recipe. All right, let's see if we can form this thing. All right, so the bulkhead here, this template that I used to cut this out. So that's what is needed to get the same radius. Here's the template. And instead of using one bys, I'm just gonna use three quarter inch plywood right here for the end pieces. So I trace this here, boom. And then I'm gonna make it inch and a half thick. So I just measured to get an offset line, strike an arc, freehand obviously because that's how we're going to roll because it ain't a perfect circle. And that's what we're going to cut out with the jigsaw and see how she fits. And I'm going to clamp these bananas up there okay we got a couple bananas that I cut and we're gonna clamp them up there and then kind of stick build it while it's clamped up there because to build this curved thing on the ground like every other wall which is flat this ain't gonna work got the little match sticks in here we're gonna get another uh, two pretty much where the C clamps are so it's a nice contoured wall frame or framework and uh, Keep it rolling. Here is the final product of the framework before putting the interior, interior paneling on it. As you saw, we tried soaking the pan, the three ply stuff in the pond. It was in there for like a two days, day or two, whatever. And I thought that that would be enough. Didn't work. You know, I'm gonna show some mistakes. Obviously, if you've been following this series, I guess it's a series. Yeah, it's a series. I ended up changing changing it up a little bit. The framework is the same. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Nice, uh, you know, a radius goes around, follows the front bulkhead radius with framework. Okay, here you go. Now, the only difference from what I originally planned, the difference is instead of going with a full one sheet I ended up cutting strips and installing them we'll just fill these gaps and paint it or whatever the heck we end up finishing the interior with so this will give you a better uh, view here there you go so that's what we got right now and here's a top view it's got a little bow to it right now but it's uh, all construction adhesive in. it's screwed in it's solid I mean it's solid it's not going anywhere. The only spot that's not solid is that front, this top piece right here, but that's gonna get tied into the roof panel and then it will become solid. So I'm gonna take this jigsaw, jigsaw this off right here and we're gonna keep going. It'll be done. Gotta get this thing done. Better than a 
saws off. Finished product. Ready for roof paneling.